Welcome to a special Thanksgiving Day edition of The Faces of Rogue War, one of the strangest shows on the internet right now. Um, it's Thanksgiving, and uh, well, you know what that means. It means the stress level went from here to here instantly. It took a few days to record this episode because it is the holidays. And uh, if you're anything like me, well, you've probably already had a stupid fight with your wife. Uh, the house is probably going crazy. Everyone's trying to get ready for the holidays, cooking, cleaning, preparing, etc. Uh, the stress of relatives coming and all of that good stuff. If you've never experienced a stressful Thanksgiving, um, please write to me because I would very much like to meet you. I have yet to meet a person who hasn't had a stressful holiday. So how do we combat that stress? Well, I'm going to give you some advice on how to get through the holidays. Hold on, hold on. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Don't, don't, don't turn off, uh, don't turn off the video just yet. Um, Anyone who knows me knows that I'm in no position to give any advice whatsoever on anything in life, especially uh, how to get through the holidays. However, yesterday I found a gem of an interview from 2012 with Archdeacon Eugene Burbello. Anyone who has ever met Father Evgeny, as we all call him, Atit Evgeny, you know that this, this man is the definition of one of a kind. Um... He was ordained in 1955, a Metropolitan Anastasi. He served um, as the senior protodeacon for five Metropolitans. Even though he was married, raised the family, he was given the honor of being elevated to the rank of archdeacon, something that uh, very rarely happens. And yet at the same time, Atit Evgeny is probably best known for his amazing sense of humor. In 2012, when we went to interview him, this was one of my first interviews, I want to begin... Well, first off, I just have to play a clip for you of what happened as we were setting up, because this will give you a, a good idea of who Atit Evgeny is and what a fantastic sense of humor he has. So take a listen. This We didn't even have the cameras rolling yet, um, but the second we turned the audio recorders on, he just went, and it's it's pretty hilarious. Audio's recording the tapes on. Peter, you should listen to me. Come on. There are rumors that the rocket is sent Я хочу в ракету эту посадить свою жену. А для чего? А пускай покатается. Бог человеку дал два уха, один язык ему лишь дал, чтобы он держался больше слуха, поменьше попусту болтал. Но человек не принимает предначертания Творца. Он уши ватой закрывает и чушь городит без конца. А как у вас была от ДП? Что? Матушка Европа? Да, ДП. А, вместо, вместо Матушки Европы, вместо Волги, реки, вместо Мутника, эпохи. Ну, подожди, пока. пока. Немножко медленнее говори, да. Жень. Немножко да. медленнее, пожалуйста. Да. Но... И громче. Да. Вместо Матушки Европы, вместо Волги, вместо Мутника, эпохи. Если я был бы курица, я уже несколько яиц бы снес. Отец Евгений был очень простым и добрым человеком. 
most of all, he was, he was simple. The things that he said, the things that you're about to hear, they're not complicated at all. But if I were to say the same exact words that he is saying, that you're about to hear, they probably wouldn't mean much. Because when they came from someone like a Titiv Geni, you knew that these that he really meant every single word that he says. So his first piece of advice for the holidays is how to slow down, how to take it easy. I know anyone that knows me is probably just falling out of their chair laughing right now uh, because I am the last person who takes it easy during the holidays. But here's what Atis Evgenia has to say. Есть вторая русская пословица, что знаешь, гонка какая-то должна быть только при ловле блох. Having served under five metropolitans, Atis Evgenia had the opportunity to know some of the greatest spiritual giants, I guess you can call them, in Rokor. In upcoming episodes of the show, we will get into some of these people, we'll talk about their relationship to Father uh, Evgeny, but for today, I just want to share some of the lessons that he learned from people like Metropolitan Anastasi, from Archdeacon and later Archimandrite Gilasi from the uh, Synod, and then his spiritual father, Father Vladimir, in Jordanville, because those lessons apply to every single one of us, especially to me. Митрополит Анастасий часто меня вызывал к себе, говорил со мной. И он, и отец Геласий, больше всего произвели на меня. Они спокойно говорили мне, говорили, что может быть, что может не быть. Но самое главное, чтобы я был честный сам к себе. Вот. И, и видел прежде всего от человека что-то самое положительное в человеке. И то, что кому-то мне нравится, я должен об этом молчать и никому не говорить. И он мне всегда говорил, говори, Женя, если ты не можешь видеть что-то хорошего в человеке, перекрестись, замолчи и не говори. То потому что, если ты будешь, ты сам себя будешь вталкивать в рез. Это были и отца Геласия, и митрополита Анастасия. Мои слова. То есть слова мне. Это был человек большой доброты, большого сердца, который видел все, во всем самое положительное. Я его спросил, а есть же плохое? А говорит, я говорит, на это не знаю, не обращаю внимания. Коротко есть. And here comes the best piece of advice. Marital advice. I have to admit that what you're about to hear, I tried to follow this advice yesterday. Um, I lasted about 49.2 seconds. It's not easy. However, I hope that when you hear Father Eugene's words, at least you'll think about them. Because as I sit here and try to come up with a, a way to apologize to my wife, uh, for, uh, well, let's not get into that. The only thing I can think about is what Father Evgeny has to say. This is a man who claims that he's only gotten into a fight with his wife twice in his entire life. Here's why. I thank God, it's been 55-57 years. But the most important thing I wanted to say is that we have never been two times. Я что-нибудь буркнул, она отошла. Она что-нибудь буркнул, я ушел. One of the most difficult questions that we have to ask is what would you say to your family? What would you wish for them after you're gone? I've recorded a lot of these interviews and they're, they're very powerful and they're very moving because the closer a person gets to the end of, the, of his life, the more they start to focus on what's really important. I saw this with my grandfather. They have this amazing sense of clarity. So here's what Father Eugene wishes for his entire family 
and his advice applies to every single one of us. Что прежде всего, чтобы они держались веры православной, были непоколебимы в этом, уважали старших, уважали, любили церковь, любили родителей и видели в каждом человеке человека образ Божий. Нужно любить и уважать всех тех, кто вокруг тебя. Кто тебе кажется не нравится, ты об этом не должен говорить, а наоборот сделать все, что ты можешь, чтобы перебороть у себя эту заразу, эту болезнь. Вот. И Господь тебя никогда не оставит. Отец Евгений Бурбелло is one of the faces of Rokor. He's one of, the, he's one of those people that has had an amazing impact on my life, and I know that there's thousands of other people out there who knew him and who were very moved by his life and his service to Christ. So this Thanksgiving, as you sit around the table, take a moment to think about all of the people that have had an impact on your life. Thank you so much for watching the show. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving, and God bless you.